What's up YouTube, Jeff back again and some more coverage for your Galaxy S22 Ultra or really the Galaxy S22 or S22 Plus or other Samsung devices. But this one is gonna focus a lot on the S Pen. Today I'm gonna show you guys seven apps that you will absolutely love for your Galaxy S22 Ultra. And as a little bonus, there's six S Pen apps and then there's one wallpaper app that I really like. Uh, and also show you guys where I got this wallpaper in case you like it. This one I actually didn't get from my usual wallpaper app, um, but I'll show you guys where I got that as well. But before we get into it, some people did want to also see how the uh, white version looks in the UAG Kevlar case. So there it is. I think it looks really nice. You got a little white accent there on the back. I think it still looks really, really awesome. So let's get right into it. I'll start off with the non S Pen app in case you're not interested. And a lot of you already know where I get most of my wallpapers. That's from the app Backdrops, which is right there. The app Backdrops has a lot of amazing wallpapers. You guys saw this in one of my videos from earlier today called Spike Specs. Some of you asked where this one was as well. It does have some paid plans, which is a pro pack and some others that I subscribe to because I personally like having all the wallpapers that they offer. There's also a community tab where people can upload stuff. They often have new wallpapers that come out on phones, so you can grab them. This one's actually gorgeous wallpaper right there. Um, lots of great community wallpapers. So Backdrops is my favorite app to getting wallpapers. Check it out if you're interested in getting quality wallpapers for your device. Now, the wallpaper I have today is actually not from an app. I actually purchased it from another YouTuber, you guys may know him, Knoopsy. He makes some awesome looking wallpapers with gradients and things like that. This is his new Ignite pack. Uh, and this is one of the wallpapers from there. Really like how it looks on this super awesome AMOLED display with the really dark blacks and how that bleeds into the purple. It just looks really, really nice. So that's where I get my wallpapers and where I got the wallpaper today. Now let's talk about these six S Pen apps. So for that, I'm gonna to need to take my S Pen app here so we can go ahead and get right into it. So a lot of these apps are ones that you may have seen before and some of them you may have not. Uh, the first one is one that I did show off in my earlier video about S Pen tips and tricks and that is the Microsoft Equation Solver. This is mainly relevant to all of you students out there. Most of you who are either in high school or college you're doing some algebra, you're doing some calculus. It's an amazing tool that allows you to do mathematics. You know, you can take the integral of anything, do some calculus. It really can only go up to around differential equations, but you can see you just write it there in by hand, and then it shows you the solution to the equation. Uh, sometimes it will return an error and say that it can't compute it, and the computation time does take a little while, but you get the graph, you get similar problems, you get similar problems in a web search, you get worksheets. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. If you're a student taking a math course, you're really gonna wanna check this out, and it allows you to utilize your S Pen. Uh, the next one, which is an essential app, I think, for anybody who has a phone with an S Pen or a stylus, I just downloaded this one. I haven't even signed in with my Google account so I can show you guys the kind of setup, is Adobe Fill and Sign. Adobe Fill and Sign is basically an app that allows you to sign documents using your S Pen or whatever other stylus that you might have. And see, here's a sample form. You can just, you know, tap anywhere, fill in information with text. You can also add a signature field, like if you wanna add a signature field, you guys can see I already have my signature up there, already filled into the app from when I've used it before, uh, all that kind of cool stuff. And this app is actually free to use, which is kind of crazy um, that Adobe makes this free to use because it's such a useful app if you do in fact have uh, S Pen or other stylus on your device. So you guys can see there's no, you don't have to pay in this case to get any features really. You can use the basic feature set that you want to in Adobe Fill and Sign with no problem whatsoever. Uh, the next app, which I personally like quite a bit, it is an expensive app. Admittedly, it's a paid app. It's called Colorfy and it's a coloring book app, but it's one that I really enjoy for passing time. I just started working on a new drawing uh, last night on there. It's really, really fun way to relax and pass the time. It's an adult coloring book. They got so many different colors, you know, to choose from down here. And it, it's pretty expensive. I, I remember right, I think it's like $7.99 a month or something like that. It, it could even be bi-weekly. Um, if you don't use it, obviously it's not worth it. But if you do use it, uh, it is very much worth it. And if you like coloring and making nice drawings just to relax and, you know, 
sort of relax at the end of the day, blow off some steam. I really enjoy it. Uh, my wife also likes this app quite a bit. I do pay for the paid version. I've used it on other Android devices like my Note 20 Ultra. Uh, and then also on, on iOS, I've used coloring book apps as well, just because I find them really, really fun. Uh, let me see if I can tell you guys really quick. This obviously I have to go in and fix it later. You can apply some filters and other things. So if I go into my works, you can kind of see here all of your stuff. You can get inspired, create, get notifications. So all these different kind of things you can play around with. They have tons of templates and it is a really fun app. The next one on my list is a game actually, and that's Scribble Racer. I really, really have fun with this game. It's another thing, just like the coloring book, you know, like if you want to relax at the end of the day and kind of just blow off some steam, it uses your S Pen, you know, as kind of an infinite scrolling game to avoid the sides here. And it's really, really fun to play behind the camera. I'm sure I'm gonna die pretty fast here, but I'll try to ride it out until I do die. There's some really big twists and turns in these levels. I might actually get a new high score here on video. That'd be impressive for everybody to see. But this game is super fun, especially if you like infinite scrollers. I'm actually approaching the 30 second limit and I did it right there, new high score. Very impressive and I caught that on video. I've never done that in a video, so that's pretty cool. This is a very simple uh, game as well. It is like 89 cents to remove ads and then there's also some coins and things like that you can buy. Like if you die, you can get yourself some additional uh, time you can start from the place where you died and then keep continuing you have to pay for that But you know, this is a really fun game even if you don't pay for it I paid the 89 cents to remove the ads, but uh, I don't usually pay for you know the coins to to pick up where I left off I just start again and there's easy normal and hard. So it's a game you can play for a long time uh, Okay, so I don't know why I put the S pen back in there because I've still got one more app Well two more apps to show you guys, but they're both highly related apps both of these are note-taking apps now, Samsung Notes is great, but it lacks a lot of features that if you're taking notes in a professional setting or in school that you would really want. So the two apps that I really like, and they kind of have different purposes, and also depending on which cloud storage you use, if you use one, you might want to pick one over the other. Squid is the first one, uh, and Squid is a really cool app because it allows you to mark up PDFs very easily. You can import PDFs and mark them up. Uh, you've got a lot of control over the pressure sensitivity. I made this nap, this, uh, this note last night. You can see down here, pressure sensitivity, eraser, lasso tool, all that kind of stuff. This one's probably better if you're really doing this in a school setting or a professional setting like I do for preparing my lectures at the university. Uh, like I said, you've got PDF import, all that kind of stuff. You can organize it by notebook, which is really nice. But the one thing that's not great about this one, you can also use casting if you have a Chromecast device or a TV that supports that. But one thing that's not great about it is actually the backup and restore options. There's only two storage providers, which is Dropbox and Box. And uh, I switched to Google Drive recently and I really like it because it's integrated with all my Google Drive, you know, all my services across Android and my Chromebooks and everything. Uh, and so I'm not using Dropbox anymore. And so this app doesn't really sync. So the premium version of this is like 99 cents a month. And I do think it's worth that. Uh, but again, if you use Google Drive, then it wouldn't really be the best option for you. On the other hand, Concepts, which is also a great app. This is another note-taking app, but this one is more tailored towards the idea of sketching and drawing and all that stuff. You can pay $4.99 a month to get all their tools. A lot of their tools are about like watercoloring and, and different kind of brushes, right? There's a lot of tools up here you can play around with, like watercolors, how much sensitivity, uh, how opaque things are, all of that. And you also have this very cool, you know, color wheel where you can pick like individual colors, show this here, like all the colors just by the color code. This is amazing, really. I mean, this is beautiful right here. So this is something that I think you're really gonna enjoy. If you're someone who likes to draw, right, then you can pick, you know, your favorite color by code, and then you can just start drawing right in there. And again, pressure sensitivity, you can see you have different types of shapes and motions that you can enable. Uh, this is a very, very cool thing, like if you're a painter or drawer. Concept's a little more expensive, like I said. I did subscribe to the pro version. Um, you get a seven day free trial, and then after that, uh, it does cost a little bit more a month, uh, or you can pay for the entire year, I think, and get a discount. So again, some of these are paid apps, some of them are free, a nice mixture of both for you guys. 
Hope you enjoyed this. Backdrops again, great wallpaper app. These apps right here, all great apps for your S Pen. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Also, you guys can find me at Twitter below if you want to follow me there. We have a huge giveaway where we're giving away a Galaxy S22 Ultra that ends on February 28th. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.